What's going on guys, Dylan DeJesus here. Thank you so much for joining us for another episode of reacting to your TikTok videos. Now with this series, we went ahead and opened it up to you guys sending in your TikToks. So I haven't seen any of these yet. Super excited to look through all of these. You guys seem to really enjoy this episode last time around and we went ahead and opened it up to you guys sending us all of your videos. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop in my headphones so that I can listen to the audio tracks from the actual videos. Unfortunately, we can't play them because they are copyrighted songs, but go ahead and definitely check out all of these videos on your own. Sometimes the videos sort of go to the audio tracks, but we're gonna go ahead, just play some audio over them and let's go ahead and get things started. Okay, so we have a cutout of Kobe with some dot work. Is that, hold up. So he uses the dots in the cutout to get his reference for the portrait work. I have never seen anything like that. I've never seen that technique used before. Damn. He really pulls it off too, because the, the, the final images here, I mean, that is serious. I gotta check that out again. I gotta look at that, that reference again. I've never seen that done before with the dot work like that. So that's how you get all of your main reference points. The nose, the nostrils, the eyes, eyebrows, ears, the jawline. That's crazy. That's a really cool way to do portrait work. Big props to you. I don't know if that's, a, if that's like an original technique that you came up with on your, on your own. There's obviously a lot of different ways that you can uh, get reference points for a portrait, but Using that dot technique, that is super dope. Really cool work here, and I, of course I love me a good Kobe pair. Okay, so it says Beauty and the Beast shoe, waving the wand, and now you get to see the final product. Yep, that's dope, that's dope. So this is a great example of, unfortunately you guys couldn't hear the song, but this song, typically what a lot of people do on TikTok is they do like a before and after of getting ready, so a lot of women will do it with like no makeup and then do something and then now they're fully made up or, or getting ready before and afters type stuff. So this is kind of paying attention to what are the viral trends and the viral songs on TikTok and then applying it to your niche. So this was a great example of that, of seeing the blank canvas shoe, waving the wand to the song and then you see the final product. So, you know, staying in tune with what's popular on the platform at any given time is always gonna be a great idea. So great work here. Okay, so it starts off by saying stay till the end. That's always that's always a great way to try to convince people to stay around. So we have the drip swoosh taped off, packing in some black around the LV stencils, removing them all now, untaping around the swoosh. Cool, this came out clean. Oh, I like the box. I like the box for sure. Now you get to see the final images of the shoe. This was a great example of showing the entire project packed into 30 seconds or so. You got to see, you know, them get taped up real quickly, laying down the stencils, painting around the stencils, removing the stencils, removing tape around the swoosh, and then, you know, five seconds or so of the final product. So this was, uh, this was you know, a, a pretty great standard TikTok video where you got to follow the, almost essentially the entire project, get to see it done start to finish, all packed into 30 seconds. So great stuff here. All right, we got our buddy Ty prepping them, taping them up. We got another drip swoosh. So I think this is gonna be, yeah, like a donut pattern. Clean, you got to see all of the colors laid in from the different uh, different colors of the donut, now the different colors of the sprinkles. Lace them up, and the final product. Clean, simple, short, and sweet. That's a, that's a dope video, Ty. Cool stuff. Okay, so we got the all white Air Forces, got them taped up now. Laying in some blue into the airbrush. Got a lot of those TikTok transitions and shakes and rattles and stuff. Okay, what is that swish gonna become? Okay, so you drew in some waves. That's dope. I see some toothpick action again. Okay, that's cool. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. I like that. The waves, the way that they interacted with the swish, that was clean. Again, short and sweet. I like that you got to see a lot of the process. See you laying down the uh, Airbrushing in the blue and then drawing in all of those waves around the swoosh. How you did that? That was clean. Dope stuff. Okay, let's see. Oh, that dog. That's crazy. 
That is, I love some good portrait work. So packing in all the detail, a clean underpainting of this woman and she's scared, it says, ah, UFOs. Oh, that's dope. The little UFO on that back panel, that was clean. What I really liked about these is kind of your reveal of the final product. So the main reveal was gonna be this woman scared of this UFO and the way that you framed it was by kind of how a UFO might be in the sky. So you pointed the camera up at the sky where you might see a UFO in the sky, but instead of the UFO being in the sky, it's obviously on the back panel of the shoe. So your framing for that final reveal was uh, just really well done here. So great work. All right, we got some Taylor Swift Vans. Crazy, crazy dope. So it looks like this is gonna be one where we just see the final product. But man, is that end result clean. I've definitely seen some of uh, Gigi's work before and she is a master at working on vans and doing themes just like this. All of those different panels, all of the different images, crazy work here, so good. And here's here was a great example. I think this is the first one we've seen where you know, you're not necessarily seeing the, the process or anything like that, any of the painting, no time lapses really, you're just seeing the end product, but you can still make a, a perfect TikTok video out of just that end product and just quickly showing all the different things that you incorporated into the shoe. So I love that. All right, so we got the wait until the end sticker. Looks like Sonic. Let's see. Some other line work. Oh yeah, that Sonic came out clean. Oh man, that end result. Oh my goodness. Dang, did not see that coming. So you were not kidding around with that wait until the end sticker. Man, I gotta look up some images of this final product because we got a bunch of different Pokemon and stuff. I see a huge Charizard there. That is, you were not kidding about that wait until the end because I did not see that coming. I gotta, let's watch this one again. So we got the Sonic line work. This is crazy. Sonic looks dope there. And then just this end reveal, that is crazy. Cause you know, you, you just show basically Sonic being painted and then it looks like that wing from one of the other Pokemon, but then to just see this end result, that is crazy. These are so dope. Great stuff, and that was like a 10 second video. And you just get to see that, wow, that was so dope. Great work here. Okay, so we're packing in some detail into the grass. It looks like a dinosaur. Just trying to get that dinosaur skin going. That's crazy. Ooh, a T-Rex came out, dope. Some final little details in the grass here. Packing in the darkest greens. Ooh, 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 that's crazy. What a great base shoe too. And the way just that you set up this image with, uh, I don't know if it's a bronchiosaurus, potentially you know, some type of dinosaur that has an extremely long neck to really take up the entire uh, panel on these Air Force highs. That was, uh, obviously that's the perfect dinosaur to put there because you really just see how long its neck is and that, that end result is clean. Love how these turned out, great work. Thank you guys so much for joining us for another video. This was fun, I always enjoy looking at TikTok videos. It's a cool platform. I still think it's gonna grow a whole lot more. It's gonna be interesting to see what other customizers are able to start to really grow and blossom on there. And if you're not on there, it's one of those things. It's time, it's time. Quit fighting it, you know, it's here to stay. And uh, you know, go ahead and see what you can do because you can post one video that can pretty easily gain a million views because uh, you know it's just easy to get a lot of eyes on you on a platform like that right now. So quit avoiding it and join the platform. Check out some of these great artists who are doing really cool things on there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Go ahead and give it a like if you haven't already. Make sure you're subscribed and if you guys are interested in being featured on a future video, go ahead and send your submissions to jason at Other than that, See you guys in the next video.